let us look at the ninth problem find the angle between the following pair of lines first x minus 2 divided by 2 equal to y minus 1 divided by 5 equal to z plus 3 divided by minus 3 and x plus 2 divided by minus 1 equal to y minus 4 divided by 8 equal to z minus 5 divided by 4 so what we have to do is we have to find the angle between the two given lines the given lines are in terms of uh, cartesian form okay the solution now let us write what is given to us so given is this x minus 2 divided by 2 equal to y minus 1 divided by 5 equal to z plus 3 divided by minus 3 so this we will call it as line 1 and line 2 that is l2 is x plus 2 divided by minus 1 equal to y minus 4 divided by 8 equal to z minus 5 divided by 4 ok so uh, we have to find the angle between l1 and l2 the angles theta between l1 and l2 is so it is given by this cos theta equal to uh, modulus of a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 the whole divided by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square ok so where a1 where a1 a2 a, a1 b1 c1 are what direction ratios of uh, line 1 and a2 b2 c2 are direction ratios of line 2 ok so where a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 are direction ratios of l1 and l2 respectively ok so let us write a1 b1 c1 first so a1 is what so we have to look at the denominator of the first line so a1 is 2 uh, then b1 is equal to uh, 5 right and c1 is equal to minus 3 ok and a2 is equal to so we have to now look at the denominator of the line 2 so minus 1 then b2 is 8 and c2 is 4 ok so this implies cos theta is equal to a modulus of a1 into a2 so 2 into minus 1 plus b1 into b2 so 5 times 8 right plus a minus 3 times 4 c1 into c2 ok so that is divided by a root of a1 square so that is 2 square plus b1 square so that is 5 square plus c1 square so that is minus 3 square ok into root of uh, minus 1 square plus 8 square plus uh, 4 square ok so this implies cos theta is equal to modulus of 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 plus 5 into 8 is 40 uh, minus 3 into 4 is minus 12 and it is divided by root of 2 square is 4 5 square is 25 plus minus 3 square is 9 ok into root of uh, minus 1 square is 1 plus 8 square is 64 
प्लस फोर स्क्वायर सिक्सटीन ओके सो दिस इम्प्लाइज कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू मॉड्यूलस ऑफ सो माइनस ट्वेल्व माइनस टू इज माइनस फोर्टीन फोर्टी माइनस फोर्टीन विल बी ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड देन डिवाइडेड बाय रूट ऑफ सो दिस विल बी वॉट ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस फोर इज ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी नाइन प्लस नाइन इज थर्टी एट ओके इन टू रूट ऑफ वन प्लस सिक्सटी फोर इज सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव प्लस सिक्सटीन विल बी एटी वन राइट सो दिस इज वॉट वी गेट नाउ कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू मॉड्यूलस ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स इन टू रूट ऑफ थर्टी एट एंड रूट ऑफ एटी वन इज नाइन राइट सो इन टू नाइन सो दैट मीन्स कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू मॉड्यूलस ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाय नाइन रूट थर्टी एट ओके सो दिस इम्प्लाइज कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू वर्ड सो मॉड्यूलस ऑफ अ पॉजिटिव क्वान्टिटी इज द सेम पॉजिटिव क्वान्टिटी सो दैट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स बाय नाइन रूट थर्टी एट ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ द सब प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ नाइन नॉल एड एज गो टू द सब प्रॉब्लम टू हियर सो अगेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द एंगल बिटवीन द टू लाइन सो सोल्यूशन सो लेट एस राइट द फर्स्ट लाइन इज एल वन सो एल वन इज एक्स बाय टू इक्वल टू वाई बाय टू इक्वल टू जेड बाय वन ओके एंड एल टू इज एक्स माइनस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फोर ओके इक्वल टू वाई माइनस टू डिवाइडेड बाय वन इक्वल टू जेड माइनस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय एट राइट सो नाउ लेट एस राइट ए वन बी वन सी वन सो ए वन इक्वल टू टू सो हियर वी कैन राइट हियर ए वन बी वन इज टू एंड सी वन विच इज वन आर डायरेक्शन रेशो ऑफ लाइन वन आर डायरेक्शन रेशोज ऑफ एल वन राइट एंड ए टू विच इज इक्वल टू फोर बी टू इक्वल टू वन एंड सी टू इक्वल टू एट आर डायरेक्शन रेशोज आर डायरेक्शन रेशोज ऑफ लाइन टू दैट इज एल टू राइट सो नाउ वी कैन फाइंड द एंगल बिटवीन द लाइन एल वन एंड एल टू देन द एंगल थीटा बिटवीन एल वन एंड एल टू इज सो कॉस थीटा इक्वल टू मॉड्यूल ऑफ ए वन इंटू ए टू सो टू इंटू फोर प्लस बी वन इंटू बी टू सो टू इंटू वन प्लस सी वन इंटू सी टू सो वन इंटू एट ओके एंड देन दी होल डिवाइडेड बाय रूट ऑफ ए वन स्क्वायर सो टू स्क्वायर प्लस बी वन स्क्वायर सो अगेन टू स्क्वायर राइट ओके प्लस सी वन स्क्वायर सो वन स्क्वायर राइट सो रूट ऑफ इंटू रूट ऑफ ए टू स्क्वायर सो फोर स्क्वायर प्लस बी टू स्क्वायर सो वन स्क्वायर प्लस सी टू स्क्वायर सो एट स्क्वायर ओके सो दैट मीन्स सो दिस इम्प्लाइज कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू मॉड्यूलस ऑफ सो टू इंटू फोर इज एट ओके सो टू इंटू फोर इज एट प्लस टू इंटू वन इज टू प्लस वन इंटू एट इज एट एंड एन डिवाइडेड बाय रूट ऑफ सो टू स्क्वायर इज फोर प्लस टू स्क्वायर सो प्लस फोर प्लस वन स्क्वायर सो प्लस वन इंटू रूट ऑफ फोर स्क्वायर सो सिक्सटीन 
plus 1 square is 1 plus 8 square right that is 64 okay so this is the expression that, uh, this is the numerical value that you get now cos theta is equal to modulus of uh, 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 8 is 18 okay into root of 4 plus 4 is 8 8 plus 1 is 9 into root of 16 plus 1 is 17 uh, and se uh, 17 plus 64 is 81 so this implies cos theta is equal to modulus of 18 divided by root of 9 is 3 into root of 81 is 9 so this implies cos theta is equal to so 3 1 the 3 3 6 the 18 3 2 the 6 3 3 the 9 so modulus of 2 by 3 right so that means cos theta is equal to uh, 2 by 3 okay and that means theta is equal to cos inverse of 2 by 3 if we operate uh, cos inverse on both sides if you look at this okay so here i have not calculated theta so theta is nothing but cos inverse of uh, 26 uh, by 9 into root of 38 okay this is the answer actually okay yeah so, so we have solved both the sub problems of 9 now let us go to the 10th one so that is this find the values of p so that lines uh, 1 minus x by 3 equal to 7 y minus 14 by 2 p equal to z minus 3 by 2 and 7 minus 7 x by 3 p equal to y minus 5 by 1 equal to 6 minus z by 5 are at right angles okay so what we have to do is we have to find the values of p for which these two lines are at right angle so let us start solving the problem so solution so given is uh, l1 we will call the line ok this l1 is 1 minus x divided by 3 equal to 7y minus 14 divided by 2p equal to z minus 3 divided by 2 ok so this equation of line is not in the standard form so we have to make this equation in standard form so l1 will be what so we can take minus and common from this so you will get minus bracket x minus 1 by 3 equal to from here we can take 7 common so 7 into y minus 2 divided by 2p right equal to z minus 3 divided by 2 right now l1 will be what now x minus 1 ok divided by this minus sign we can take in the denominator so minus 3 equal to this 7 we can take in the denominator so we will get y minus 2 divided by 2p by 7 right equal to this will be the same z minus 3 divided by 2 ok now let us look at the l2 line line 2 so this is the line 7 minus 7x divided by 3p equal to y minus 5 divided by 1 equal to 6 minus z divided by 5 ok so again this equation of line is not in the standard form so we have to make this equation of line in the standard form so l2 will be what so minus 7 we can take out here so we will get x minus 1 then divided by 3p equal to this will remain as it is y minus 5 divided by 1 equal to now from here we can take minus sign out so minus z minus 6 divided by 5 right 
So let us look at what we get L2 as now L2. Uh, so minus 7 we can take in the denominator. So we will get x minus 1 divided by 3p by minus 7 equal to uh, this will be as it is y minus 5 divided by 1 equal to this minus sign we can take it in the denominator so z minus 6 divided by minus 5 ok now uh, see we have to show that uh, uh, we have to find the value of p given that the two lines are at right angles so also given also given that L1 and L2 are at right angles ok so therefore the angle theta is equal to 90 degrees right the angle uh, is theta equal to 90 degree between L1 and L2 ok so now you know that the angle between two lines is given by the formula cos theta right so angle theta between L1 and L2 is given by is given by cos theta ok so theta is equal to 90 right so theta is equal to 90 so cos 90 equal to modulus of so the direction ratios are what so a1 is this minus 3 a2 is 3 p by minus 7 so what you will get is uh, minus 3 into 3 p by minus 7 ok plus b1 is this 2p by 7 b1 into b2 so 2p by 7 2p by 7 into 1 ok plus uh, c1 into c2 so 2 times minus 5 so 2 times minus 5 and then the whole divided by uh, root of a1 square so minus 3 square right plus b1 square so 2p by 7 the whole square plus uh, c1 square so there is 2 square right into root of a2 square so 3p by minus 7 the whole square plus uh, b2 square so 1 square plus c2 square so minus 5 square ok so what we will get is this implies cos 90 is 0 right so 0 equal to modulus of minus 3 into 3p by 7 is uh, 9p by 7 right then this is plus 2p by 7 plus 2p by 7 then uh, minus so 2 into minus 5 is minus 10 so minus 10 here ok and then the whole divided by now you have to write the quantity which are having root so root is minus 3 square is 9 then plus this we will keep it as it is 2p by 7 the whole square plus uh, 2 square is 4 uh, into root of uh, 3p by minus 7 the whole square we will keep it as we will keep it as it is so 3p by 7 the whole square ok plus 1 square is 1 plus uh, minus 5 square is 25 ok so this implies uh, so this we can take it in the uh, left hand side so 
so 0 is equal to uh, modulus of what we will get is 9 p by 7 plus 2 p by 7 okay minus 10 so this implies modulus of a quantity is 0 if the quantity is itself 0 so what we will get is 0 equal to uh, 9 p by 7 plus 2 p by 7 minus 10 right so this implies this minus 10 we can take it on the left hand side so 10 equal to 9 p by 7 plus 2 p by 7 is 11 p by 7 right so that means uh, now we can take this 7 on this side so that will be 70 uh, equal to 11 p so this implies now we can take 11 here so 70 by 11 equal to p okay so this is the answer right so that's it in the video if you have liked the video please hit the like button if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video